Okay, now the next thing should go without being said, but I need to say it anyhow because I've seen some, some of these things just kind of work their way through. And that is that, of course, your person needs to be in focus. Okay, so you understand from lesson one all about tap to focus, how to lock the focus, but it absolutely is imperative that the subject is in focus. Okay, so many times students turn in work to me and the, the, you know, the person's out of focus and it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look professional. So you really want to make sure that your photograph of a person, that they are always in focus. If you're doing close-up work, make sure that the eye is what's in focus. You're tapping on the eye. If you're so close, you have to tap on different parts of the body uh, or the face. Make sure that the eye is number one. If it's the eye closest to the camera or the one farthest away, if they're on an angle or something, you just kind of got to try the two different, see which one you like better but really uh, work on focus. This is a short lesson, and I know you guys already know this, but you really gotta make sure. Don't get too excited. Oh, I'm gonna take in the photo, the pose looks great, the lighting is great, the composition is great. Ah, take the photo and it's out of focus. So nothing works. So that is uh, the next thing you need to really um, have is that the photograph or the subject needs to be in focus. Everything else can be blurry, but the subject needs to be in focus.